pretty excited about this flight. This is going to be a short one here. Um, let me see what Fort Flight has me. It is uh, 30, 30 miles and 18 minutes from my home field of 28 Alpha Goose Creek Airport, south of Charlotte, to Rock Hill Airport. That's just south of uh, the North Carolina, South Carolina border, south of Charlotte as well. This particular flight, I'm going to be flying low uh, at 2,500 feet. There's a Bravo ceiling at 3,600 on top of me, so this is going to be a, a low flight over to, to Rock Hill. I'm really looking forward to it. I've tried this flight twice before with uh, no success due to maintenance issues, so I'm looking forward to it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Well, let's go ahead and throttle up and get going. All right, mixture in, flaps, trim is neutral. All right, speed is alive. 50, 60, 65, 70, rotate. All right, climbing out nicely at 75. All right, we've cleared the obstacles, cleared the trees. So we go ahead and uh, keep the nose where it is and drop the flaps from one to zero. And what I find is that when I keep the uh, nose at the exact same place, then um, once I drop the flaps, the air aircraft will go from uh, 75 to 85, uh, which is uh, best climb out speed. And there we are, about, uh, about 85, a little over 85, so we're climbing out real nicely. For this flight, I'm not going to be climbing up too high. I'm just going to be uh, keeping at 2,500. Like I mentioned earlier, there's a Bravo ceiling on top of me at 6,500, so I want to keep clear of Bravo and any potential uh, wake turbulence that might uh, drift down into my, uh, into my path. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn on course here. Uh, this particular course, because I'm flying, uh, not only am I flying low at 2,500, but I'm also going to be going in the vicinity of what can be busy GA non-towered airports. Uh, well, one in particular, but I'll be passing to another airport as well. So what I'm going to be doing, and I already have it set up in my on my radio, is I'm going to be uh, switching frequencies from airport to airport as I pass in the vicinity of them just to keep track of inbound and outbound aircraft just to make sure I stay clear. Uh, I like to do that as a redundancy to what I have here set up on four flight. So as you can see on the map, um, there's the 1800 circle right there for Bravo, and I'm going to be uh, going around it a little bit and uh, kind of heading a little more due south than I need to if it was a direct route, and then I'm going to just take a slight right turn there and uh, head into uh, Rock Hill Airport from, uh, from Goose Creek. That way I can stay under the 3600 uh, Bravo ceiling and uh, not penetrate the 1800 Bravo ceiling. the airport in front of me at 12 o'clock, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn south of course a little bit, and then uh, south of the airport, and then I'm going to enter a 45 for downwind for 2-0, um, and then take my downwind uh, a little wider uh, from the runway, and then and then take and turn my base just a little earlier. Uh, even though my pattern altitude is going to be uh, underneath that Bravo Aerospace, I kind of want to stay clear of it, or if I, if I get right under it, I don't want to be under it for too long. So I'm going to be... Um, Turning south of the airport, south of course, I have visual on it, uh, 45 for, I'm going to be entering a 45 for downwind, uh, 2 zero, and uh, landing on runway 2 zero. Rock Hill. Rock Hill, seven, three, nine, I'm at a good spot here so I can turn toward the airport, I'm a little south of it now. So I'll go ahead and turn the airport, turn toward the airport, and then in a minute here, call that I'm entering a 45 for downwind, 2 zero. Rock Hill traffic, uh, Cherokee 6543 Whiskey is... Three miles to the southeast of the airport, entering a 45 for uh, downwind uh, 20 Rock Hill. Rock Hill traffic, Cherokee 43 Whiskey is turning downwind for 20 Rock Hill. Nice long runway. Windsock confirms what the AWOS stated. Wind is right down the runway. All right, we have a little bit of a tailwind here, so it's bringing me down downwind uh, quicker than if there was no tailwind. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to have my touchdown uh, point here about maybe 100, 200 feet past the numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and throttle down right when I'm a beam to that, which is right now. I'll go ahead and throttle down to 1,700. Do one notch of flaps and trim up. Three times. 
little flight school trick that kind of stabilizes the aircraft and stabilizes the speed for me. Now, because I have this little bit of a tailwind, I'm going to turn base just a little bit early, not too early because it's not a strong uh, tailwind on downwind, but it'll push me out just a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn base. So runway 23, any traffic, please advise. Rock Hill traffic, Cherokee 43 Whiskey is turning base 20, Rock Hill. All right, so we're set up at 85 miles an hour, which is just a little bit fast. I like to set up my uh, my final approach speed here on base. I'm going to pop two flaps, and I'm going to trim up twice. Uh, there's nobody on final. There's an aircraft there that looks like he's getting ready to approach the runway, but he is not in my way, so I'll just go ahead and throttle down just a little bit more. He is at 80, uh, between 75 and 80, which is good, given that we have a little bit of a headwind. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and turn final. Rock Hill traffic, Cherokee 4-3, Whiskey is turning final 2-0. Rock Hill, full, full stop. All right, so I am high, so I'm going to reduce the throttle here a little bit and then let this headwind sink me. I'm just going to idle it down. Uh, speed is about 75, 80, and the headwind is already making me fall a little bit faster than I'd like, so I'm just going to give it a little bit of throttle. Airspeed is good. I think we, uh, we're pretty good on this one. Airspeed is still about 75, 80. All right, looking good, looking good. All right, bottle to idle, roll out. Hold it off, 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 hold it off. All right, nice and smooth. With the two flaps and a little bit of headwind and the float, um, the aircraft actually landed really nicely, as if I had a little bit of a cushion underneath. So it was nice. I am pretty excited by the fact that I made this flight. I had a lot of fun. And I hope you guys did as well. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more weekly flying videos. Take care, guys.